Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I am doing a what's in my bag video on this beautiful Michael Kors Morgan tote. My sweet, wonderful husband and my sweet, wonderful daughter got this for me for Mother's Day and I absolutely love it. It's in the brown monogram with the MK logo hanging right here on the front. This thing is huge and it is full. Well, I say it's full. It's got everything I need in it, but it's not quite full. And it holds everything, and it's not even that heavy. I love this bag. I think it's amazing. We got it at Marshall's, I want to say. And it was on sale. It was on clearance, actually. And I absolutely fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. And my husband very generously offered to get it for me for Mother's Day. This was about a week, maybe two before Mother's Day. So it was my early Mother's Day gift, but I love it. So I wanted to show you how it's packed and what I've got inside it. So you have the long handle on the front and the, the dangling Michael Kors logo. And then on the back, there's one slip pocket at the very top. And in that pocket, I just keep my cell phone. It fits perfectly right here. And when I have to use my portable charger, which I'll show you where it is inside in just a minute, I can actually bring the cord for the charger out and plug it into the phone and leave it right there. So I love that feature of this bag. So let me show you the inside. So you can see it's packed fairly full, but not overwhelming or overflowing or any of that. So first thing on top inside my bag is my sunglasses case. It's usually rolled up and tucked nice and neatly, but it came undone. And inside my sunglasses case, I just have my black Guess Aviators. So that's that. And then I have my reading glasses inside this little um, case that looks like, okay, my generation and older will remember. I doubt seriously, much younger kids will remember. But do you remember when you used to have to check out books from the school library and you had to put your name and the due date on the little card that came inside the book? That's what this case is designed to look like. And I think it's adorable and hilarious. And because of that, I have my reading glasses. <laughs> I know I'm such a dork, but I thought it was funny. So I have my readers in here because now that I'm almost 40, I need reading glasses. And I didn't have them the other day and I actually really needed them. And I felt like an idiot for not being able to read. I had to hand something to my daughter to get her to read it for me. She's almost seven. She'll be seven tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I'm so not prepared for that. I didn't give permission for her to turn seven. I didn't give permission for her to turn anything over the age of like 18 months. So I'm not real sure why this keeps happening. But every year she insists on getting a year older and I hate it. But she did have to read something for me that day because I didn't have my glasses. So now I make sure I carry them with me. Next in my bag is my catch-all bag. I just did a video on this and what's inside it. So if you want to see what I carry inside that, watch that video. I'm not going to sit here and take forever to go through everything that's in this bag because there's a ton in here. It is, it's heavy. So if you want to see what's inside that, watch the video that should be uploaded, should have been uploaded right before this video. So it should be the one before this. I have inside my, um, inspired by Louis Vuitton replica wallet that I got off of Amazon. You guys have seen this in several of my videos. You know how much I love this. I don't need to go on about it again. And then down inside on the side of the bag, I have my coach coin purse with a little bit of change in it. You've seen that one before as well. I have my inspired by Louis Vuitton multi-cart case. You guys have seen this as well, but I just really love showing off the accordion. That is just, this thing's amazing. It can hold so much stuff. I love it. I have my Coach Kiss Lock coin purse, which inside it are my Bluetooth headphones. I love this little case. My mother-in-law gave it to me as a gift a few years ago, and I absolutely love it. And it, I use it all the time. It's not always in my purses, but I use it a lot and it still looks like it's in pristine condition i love that all right that's it for all the big stuff in the main compartment of my bag now see inside 
you can see there are two slip pockets on the back wall and a zipper pocket here. And then there are two, three pockets on the front. There's a medium sized pocket here and two slim pockets on either side. I'm not really using the front pocket, I don't think. No, I'm not really using the front pockets, but the back pockets, I am. In this pocket, I have my black web portable phone charger. I forgot what the word was. Sorry. And this little screen right here. If you press the power button, it shows you how much charge it has left. So this is 100% charged. This can charge my phone at least once, maybe twice without needing to be charged again. So this thing's awesome. And then I have in the uh, pocket next to that one, I have a charger cord. This one's really too long, but I can't find my short one. Actually, I think now that I've said that, I think I know where it is. I need to go find it. And then in the back wall zipper pocket, I have my Michael Kors white card case, just in case I need to just grab my essential cards and go. And I don't want to carry my whole bag. I have this pop-in magnetic business card holder. I usually just use it for appointment cards for my doctor's visits. And I have this little photo book where I keep pictures of my daughter, like her school pictures, her dance pictures, etc. I just need to show you this little outfit and the cover of her face. But look at that dress, that little costume. Is that not the cutest thing? That was her recital costume for this previous dance recital. And I was obsessed with the costume. I absolutely loved the tutu. It's in the middle of her bedroom floor right now, but she looked beautiful in it. They all did. They looked adorable. And that's it. That's all that's inside my bag. That is it. She is empty. So I just wanted to tell you all the virtues and joys of this wonderful bag. I don't see a lot of videos on this bag. I don't hear a lot about it, but I absolutely love it. Now, I will say that when I first got it, I was struggling a little bit with organizing it because I had smaller pouches and things and everything would kind of cave in the middle. So I would be digging through a pile of stuff to try to find everything. But using this to hold all of my little stuff. Wow. That probably looked like an earthquake to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just realized what that must look like. Oh my gosh. No, it wasn't an earthquake. It was just me setting the bag down. I told you there was a lot in there. Using this in the bottom of the bag, as kind of the, it kind of centralizes my stuff in the bottom of the bag. Then I can put my other small SLGs beside it, my wallet and sunglasses case on top, and I'm good to go. This prevents the everything drooping into the center of the bag problem that I was having before. So I love this. I love this. And I'm very, very happy with both of them. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to stick around for more random what's in my bag and accessory videos, or other mom videos, favorites, things like that. I'm going to really start filming more of a variety of video, or at least I hope to anyway. And if you're interested in any of that and you want to stick around, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified when I film, film? No, when I upload a new video, hit the notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a new video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe comment down below and tell me what you're carrying right now. What are the pros and cons of the bag you're currently using. I'd love to have that information from you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!